this is Tamara from Oogliblog.com, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to crochet the Peyton's Striped Hourglass Crochet Basket, which is a free pattern that I designed for Yarnspirations.com. This pattern is made with two colors of Peyton's Inspired and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook or the size needed to obtain gauge. You'll also need a yarn needle at the end to weave in your ends, of course. And here you can see the basket itself. It's made in two parts. There's an outer basket and then there's an inner basket. They're made separately and then crocheted together around the top for a beautiful finished basket that's still soft, but also stands up really well on its own. So first we make the outer basket and we start with a magic circle. Go around the finger of your non-hook hand twice towards you and then go under both of those loops with your hook. Grab that loop there that's furthest back and pull it just under the one in front. Do a quick little chain one and that locks your loops together there. So now we can start crocheting per the pattern. We're going to start with a chain one and then work six single crochets right into that ring. When we work into the ring, we want to make sure to go under both of those loops, the one that's around the finger and that tail end. Pulling on that tail end at the end of this round will allow us to close up our circle nice and tight. So go ahead and work six single crochets right into your magic ring for round one. Okay, so once you've got your six single crochets made, then you can go ahead and tug on that end there and it'll close your little ring right up. So then you can finish off your round one with a slip stitch right in the first single crochet there that you've made. There we are. After that, round two is simply chain one and work two single crochets in each stitch around. And in fact, we're going to continue working in pretty standard single crochet increases for the first several rounds until we're ready to make the sides of our basket. So here we are at the end of the second round and you should have a total of 12 single crochets. After that, you're going to keep increasing by six stitches per round all the way through round 12. So at the end of round 12, you should have a large flat circle. Then we'll be ready to work our sides. Now I'm going to stop here after about round five just for demonstration purposes. But if you go all the way through round 12, of course, you'll have a bigger basket. Now, after round 12, we go to set up for the hourglass pattern on the sides. So the first round of the setup is simply to chain one and single crochet in each stitch around. However, when we get to the end of this row, we're going to be joining with our contrast color, our color A. So I'll see you when we get to the end of the first round of our setup. Okay, so at the end of setup round one, we're supposed to join with A. So that means we just go ahead and go in as we normally would to slip stitch in that first single crochet. But instead of yarning over and pulling through our main color, we're gonna grab the end of our color A. There it is. So I'll just lay that right over my hook and pull that through that final stitch and through the loop on my hook. Now that join is with that color. Just continue to let your main color end hang out there on the inside. We'll be pulling that up again after this next row. We're going to be changing colors every row of the pattern. So, well, from here on out for the outer portion of the basket, that is. So now we're ready for the second round of our setup for the hourglass pattern, and we're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in the back loop of each stitch around. So again, we're just working even, but we're going to go under the back loop only. So that means we need to take a look at the top of our stitch here, and this is our first stitch. And there, as you can see, there's two loops, that V that makes up the top of the stitch. The one closest to you is the front loop, and the one furthest away is the back loop. So to single crochet in the back loop only, we're going to go under just that back loop, go right into the middle of the stitch with your hook and under that back loop, and then you can yarn over and finish your single crochet. So that front loop will remain unworked and we'll just sort of stick out there, creating a really nice line around your basket. So as you can see, especially as you get away from the slip stitch join there, it's quite easy to go under just that back loop only. So just continue to single crochet in each stitch around. So now we're at the end of our second round of our setup and we're going to join with that main color again. So just as we did before, we're gonna go ahead and insert our hook, but then go ahead and drop your color A and pick back up your main color to do that slip stitch. And if you find that those get a little loose, you can always just give a little tug on the unused color before you let it hang there right along the inside of the basket. So for the first round of our hourglass pattern, we're going to chain one and then we're going to back loop single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we go right to that first one we joined to. It's always a little harder with the one with the slip stitch in it. So there's one, 
and there's two, nice and easy. Then we are going to front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, two rounds below. So that means we yarn over, we find the next stitch and look down to the stitch that it's worked into. And we go right around that post from the front to the back with your hook till it comes back out there in the front of your work, yarn over, pull that loop up, yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. Then we do it again around the very next stitch. Still two rounds below. There we are. Then we are going to work back loop only, single crochets in each of the next four, uh, two stitches, excuse me. So we are going to make sure that we skip those two stitches behind. We've just worked two post stitches and we don't want to increase. So those stitches are kind of considered basically worked. So we want to come to the next one to work a back loop only single crochet and then one more. And that right there is our repeat. Two back loop only single crochets, two front, uh, front post double crochets, two back loop single crochets. So let's do that again. We start with our two back loop only single crochets, one, two. Then we have our front post double crochets. We yarn over, jump two rows down there. There's one and two. Then we need to make sure that we skip those two stitches right back there and come to the next one for a back loop only single crochet and one more. There we are. So you want to make sure you actually do have four single crochets in between each of those sets of two post stitches. Officially for the repeat though, there's two in front and two in back. So just continue that all the way around. And then when we get to the end, we'll join again with our contrast color. Okay, so at the end of the first round of our hourglass pattern, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch join again, but we're going to drop that color and bring back our contrast color to make that slip stitch. Then for round two of the hourglass pattern and every even numbered round for that hourglass pattern, they're all going to be the same. So two, four, six, eight, etc. You just chain one and back loop only single crochet in each stitch around. Then of course, join with your main color. Okay, so we finished our round two and we're ready for round three. We're going to start with a chain one, let's get that little end out of the way there. And then we're going to work, uh, we're gonna go right into our repeat actually. We're going to work a double crochet front post around the next double crochet front post two rounds below. So that means we're going to jump all the way over here to that post stitch. So we wanna yarn over, go right behind that post, yarn over again. And here you wanna make sure that your loops are a little bit looser on your hook. We don't want these to be really tight double crochets or they will sort of pull and tug at our cable pattern. We really want our cables to just lay really nicely along the outside of our fabric. So we've got our first double crochet front post or front post double crochet made there. Then we are going to work four back loop only single crochets in the next, so one in the next, each of the next four stitches. But we wanna make sure that we skip over and don't work back into that stitch that we joined with to that first stitch because again, we don't wanna increase and we've worked a post stitch there. So we wanna come right to the next stitch and work a back loop only single crochet there. There's one, two, three, and four. Then we are going to come back and work our front, uh, front post double crochet around this guy right here that we kind of passed right over the top of. Now we're gonna come back and get him. So we yarn over, go right behind that post, yarn over again and pull up our loop. Still make sure it's nice and loose and then finish off our post stitch. And that is our basic repeat. So now to start it again, we yarn over and jump all the way over to this double crochet front post here. So slide behind that post, pull up those loops and work off that double crochet. So now we need to look at the back of our work and make sure that we skip two of these stitches because we've done two post stitches in a row. We need to skip two stitches behind. So we come to that next one right there and I mark it with my finger here and then get right in there for our back loop only single crochet. So one, two, Oop, there we go, three and four. And then we finish our repeat with a front post double crochet around that second part of the pair there. So we come right back down and work our front post double crochet there. So you can see now we're starting to create that hourglass pattern. So just repeat those, that series of six stitches all the way around. And then when you get to the end, of course, we'll join again with our contrast color and work another round of back loop only single crochet.
Okay, so here I've gone ahead and worked round four, just our simple back loop only single crochet. So we're ready for round five. And again, we're working with our main color. We're going to start with a chain one, and then we're going to double crochet front post around that next front post double crochet two rows below. So we're always going to be working into our post stitches now, except for when we're making our single crochets. So anytime you make a post stitch from here on out, it'll be around another post stitch. So we yarn over, come right around that next first one we come to right there. Make our first front post double crochet there. Then we again, single crochet back loop only in each of the next four stitches. So make sure to skip that one there that we joined to. Work one, two, three, four. And then we finish our repeat with another front post double crochet. Now though, we just, again, it's lined up right below us. We can just jump right down. We don't have to stretch across our fabric as we did in the previous one of these rows. So there we have our repeat and we start again. Front post double crochet around the next one right here. It's hanging out right there waiting for us. Then we make sure that we skip those two stitches behind now because we've just worked two post stitches in a row. Come over to the next stitch and work our back loop only single crochets. So for this row, although essentially it's the same as the last time we worked uh, in the main color, we are working kind of sort of straight up this time. We don't have to cross our fabric as much. So you can want to keep those stitches lined up. When you jump down to this stitch two rows below, it should definitely be right there, right underneath that next stitch. There we are. So there's another one of those repeats. So just continue those repeats all the way around for round five. Okay, so I finished up round five, made round six, another round of our simple back loop only single crochet there's, and I went ahead and started round seven because round seven is exactly the same again as round five. You're just working the front post double crochet, four back loop only single crochets, and then another uh, front post double crochet there for our repeat, just as we were doing in round five. So continue that all the way around for round seven, and I'll see you again when we're ready for round nine. Okay, so now we're ready for round nine. We're going to start with a chain one, and then we're going to back loop single crochet in the first two stitches. So there's one, and there's two. Then we're going to start bringing these two post stitches back together to create that hourglass shape. So first, we front post double crochet around this guy right back here, the very first one we made in the uh, two rounds ago. So there's one, and then we jump on over to this guy right here and pick up the first of this pair. And work that double crochet off, there we go. And then we want to make sure to skip over the two stitches behind the two post stitches we just made. And then we go to the next stitch for a back loop only single crochet in each of the next two stitches. There we are. And there we've got our six stitch repeat for round nine. So let's do it again. We start with two back loop only single crochets, one, two. Then we have our two post stitches. So we wanna come back to this one here that we just passed over make our first front post double crochet, and then jump on over to the next one, the first of the next pair. Oops, I try that one again there. There we are, go right around that post and work off that one. Then make sure we skip the two stitches behind our post stitches and work a black back loop only single crochet in each of the next two stitches. There we are, and that is your repeat to repeat around for round nine. Okay, so now we're ready for round 11. So again, we've got our main color and we're going to start with a chain one and we're going to single crochet in the back loop of the first two stitches. So there's one and there's two. Then we front post double crochet around each of those post stitches two rows below. So now we're just dropping straight down again. Basically we've brought them together sort of like we did here and now we're just going to work those rows that go straight up. So go right down to that post stitch right underneath there. And there's one, and then there's two. There we are. And then we finish off with two back loop only single crochets. Again, we wanna make sure to skip over those two and come to the next one. So there's one and two. And that is our repeat for round 11 and for round 13. Round 13, as we saw here, identical. We just wanna pull those straight lines up a little bit higher. So let's do this repeat one more time together. We're going to back loop only single crochet in the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next two front post double crochets, two rows below, of course, one 
and two. And then skip those two stitches behind and single crochet in the next two stitches, back loop only, of course. There we are. So that's our repeat again. And that's the repeat for round 11 and round 13. So then you go back to the pattern and we have our whole repeat for the basket. You start again with round two, which is that first round of blue there, and then work all the way through that round. Keep repeating those rounds and then join with the main color again at the end of round 23. Okay, so as I say, that's our repeat for rounds 11 and 13. So then for rounds 14 through 23 of our outer basket, we just repeat rounds two through 11 again. Then for round 24, we're going to continue with our main color. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this one and we'll make round 24 together. So after you've finished the first 23 rounds of your outer basket, you can go ahead and cut the contrast color. We won't need this one for the outer basket anymore. And this way you've got one less end to deal with here as you finish up your basket. So for round 24, we're going to simply chain one and continue with our main color and work a single crochet in each stitch around. And this time we're going to go ahead and go under both of those loops for a standard single crochet. At the end of this round, go ahead and join and fasten off and then you'll be ready to make the inner basket. Okay, so after you've finished the outer portion of your basket, you set it aside and make the inner portion. But the inner portion is incredibly simple. It's just single crochets worked in the round again, just like we made the base of our outer basket, and then single crochets straight up the sides. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn our original full-size basket here wrong side out so we can get a better look. We simply work, as I say, rounds of single crochet until we've got the same size base, and then we just single crochet straight up the sides. We don't have to work any fanciness. This is the inner portion of our basket. And because we want it to be a little stiffer, single crochet is a great choice. I chose to change colors uh, to our contrast color a little bit higher up the sides here um, so we could get full use of both skeins and just have a really neat look on the inside of the basket. Once you've got this outer portion made, then what we want to do is attach the two together. Now, so we've got the wrong side of our basket here. Let me pull up this guy so you can see. This is what the wrong side looks like. Some simple stripes. We've got all our ends still hanging out here. Of course, I haven't woven those in. So when we're making the inner basket, depending on how you crochet it, if you're crocheting it that way, then you're all set. But of course, you're most likely going to have something with the right side of your work and your ends inside. So before you assemble them, go ahead and turn the inner wrong side out so that you can slide it into your outer and the wrong sides are together. Then you simply attach the two by working a round of single crochet through the back loop only of the outer and under both loops of the inner. Otherwise, it's just a round of single crochet to finish the whole thing off. So that's how to make the Peyton's Striped Hourglass Crochet Basket. I hope you give this pattern a try as well as Peyton's Inspired. It's a really lovely yarn to work with. And if you want a different sized basket, astute observers may have noticed that the outer portion here, all of this was multiples of six. So as long as you got that multiple of six there in the base, you can make any size basket you like with this pattern. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.